Okay modelers, so welcome back to another one of our inbox reviews and today we're going to be talking about the Cadillac town car, this guy here from Italeri. This is a 124 scale. Yes, I do build cars guys. Uh, this is one that I've had for a little while. I bought this one second hand as well. I have opened this box but I actually haven't been through it yet. Uh, I think I opened it at the, the club meet where I bought it from, had a quick look to make sure everything was intact and that's about all I've done with it. So you're going to get to see um, this kit the same time I am basically but I just love the look of this thing I love these classic old cars they, they're just gorgeous uh, there's there's not a lot of kits with these these old classic cars like these like these uh, what would you call them posh rich people cars Rolls Royces and things like that this thing just looks absolutely beautiful I love the box art on it and all that sort of thing but anyway guys let's have a look through the kit and see what's in here uh, on the box art here obviously we've got um, some nice pictures on the side here, one that's been built and painted up sort of thing. I have actually seen some of these on the net and some people can build them up beautiful and from what I understand it's not the best fitting kit in the world, um, it's not the most detailed or whatever and the chrome's very thick but uh, can build up to quite a nice car and looking at that box art that's just beautiful there. Uh, on the other side here we have got some details, hopefully the camera will focus for you guys. Got some details there on the engine and the front view of the car. And like I say, 124 scale, so it matches in with most car models. Right, we'll open the box and we'll have a quick look through here, guys. I'll just forgive me if things look a little bit funny. I've got to turn this thing side on to me so I can get the view in the camera properly. And instructions, typical little little area there. Uh, they're, they're very plain, just the black and white stuff. Uh, we've got our, our part sprues on that page there. Uh, normal stuff. More part sprues up in this second page here and this is the engine going together and looking at that that actually looks quite nice it's got the exhaust systems going on manifolds and things like that looks like some nice little detail in that obviously with these kits you may have to put things like uh, leads and stuff on them to detail them right up if you want to have it opened uh, next page over here we've got our chassis going together uh, with the engine going into it uh, looks like fuel tank exhaust system going into there so some nice detail on the chassis as well uh, up here we've got our back diffs and front suspension going in and then it looks like our floor pan is going in there and our front bumper okay so they're, they're fairly standard car stuff and this is where your seats the interior starts going in now this is the part of the cars that I, um, I sort of struggle with is you know you've got to go to so much detail to put in the interior if you want to have doors open and things like that to see people you know get people to see inside see all that beautiful stuff I'm not sure how detailed the interior is. We'll have a look as we go through the parts sprues, but um, yeah, this goes in. And the other thing is making seats look like leather. That's a trick within itself as well. Um, so that's fairly that's fairly standard. And it's one of the things you've got to remember building cars. You've got to paint up the interior, do it all nice, put that together, and then mask it all off to do the rest of the car. Uh, so the next part of the instructions here, we've got, looks like the both sides of the vehicle are done separately. You put your glass parts in there, you've got the interior, the doors go in like the leather interiors and that obviously. Um, we'll have a look at those as we go through the parts to see, you know, like sort of if there's any detail on those. Then they get glued onto the car. Got our radiator grill and housing there. Uh, bonnet sides. Now on the back here, where you can see this, this hood that line that goes over the back. Now the, the actual car, I think that's actually like canvas or something like that that can be folded back. So be interesting to see if we've got the option to actually fold that back, have it on and off sort of thing. Uh, if we want to have the whole thing open, like take these top parts off and have the whole car opened up. Which I guess you could do, just leave that off. But we'll have a look at that as we go through the build, when I build this thing. Uh, the last step here, it looks like it's just all the, uh, the detail, like all your chrome parts and stuff like that. These are obviously parts you'd put on, you know, after you've done the painting and stuff like that and try and put these on without, you know, getting the glue everywhere and and stuffing everything up but um, there's quite a few nice little chrome parts, headlights, things like that, um, the spinners in their wheels, all that sort of thing, uh, the hood lining emblem, um, but yeah there's fairly straightforward instructions. On the back here we've got our colour call outs, but being a car obviously guys you can do it whatever colour you want, I mean being a car you can have a black or red, Ferrari red, whatever you want to do, uh, being a car you can do that sort of thing, but uh, yeah very straightforward instructions. Okay, first sprue here we've got our chrome parts, now they don't look too bad, uh, they do look a 
so yeah they may be a little bit thick there I'll try and show you on the dash if I can get this thing to focus up close enough for you hopefully you can see on the dash there where it's on the glove compartment it's fairly sort of bubbly looking it's very very thick and you've got your gauges in there you have to paint into the frame um, I mean you have got the option of stripping these back and doing them in a um, you know like L clad chrome or something like that <clears throat> maybe I'll address them up with that but yeah they are a little bit thick in places the bumpers don't look too bad but just that dash and there's a few seam lines on the backs of the headlights and things like that that will actually have to be taken out so you'll have to re-chrome them anyway so this sprue here obviously we've got our, our side walls that go on there uh, our floor pan um, some nice looking details sort of scribed into some of the stuff looking at the hood liner here on the back here it's got a really nice sort of very fine checkered pattern built into it so you be able to paint that over and it's going to look like canvas if you put like a flat coat over it it's going to look quite nice with the canvas look to it uh, the same with some of the interiors of the doors here i can see there's like a little bit of a pattern in there uh, same on the side here the side walls here the same thing that same little um, checkered pattern so it's going to look like canvas that'd be quite nice uh, the floor pan's got some nice, you know, like your running rails and things like that are, are nicely detailed there. Uh, panel lines around the doors may look a little bit too thick, but yeah, not too bad. And I can see a couple of injector pin marks here on the outside. I'm not sure if you can pick that up on the camera, but there is a couple of little injector pin marks there that'll have to be taken care of. But painting cars, you, you, you're normally seeing them right back anyway because there's, you know, you want the pins to come up nice and shiny and you want to get all those details out, so... That's not too bad, there's not a lot of flashing on that sprue. And, and here we have our interior here, we've got our, our seats. The back part there, the back to the seats. Again on the seats here, you've got some nice checkered detail, so it's going to look like some nice leather. If you put like a flat black or something like that, or semi-gloss black, it's going to look like a nice leather look to it because of that pattern that's already built into it. Uh, firewall and windscreen there, fairly straightforward. Little um, little defect up here on here. It'll have to be taken care of. Uh, fuel tank here. Our radiator housing. Uh, these are the rims that go inside the tyres. Obviously, use that white wall tyre effect. So maybe you want to do those separately. Yeah, you want to paint them separately and paint the tyres separately, then put them in afterwards. Maybe. Uh, there's a little bit of detail on the, the fuel tank, not that you'll probably ever see because it obviously it's going to be buried underneath the car, but they have got the, you know, like your, um, your reader and stuff on there. But, and the clear parts here, clear parts look quite nice, the, uh, the headlights have got some nice fine lines over them to, to give them that yeah, proper headlight look sort of thing. Uh, like the old cars used to have, like the headlights had those, those sort of lines through them, like thick and thin glass sort of thing. Uh, the rest of it looks okay. I can see I've got a little bit of a scratch in one of these up here. But yeah, it's alright, I'll be able to take care of it. It's only a fine one, but they look quite nice. And here's our engine, guys. Uh, some nice detail built into that. Obviously, with engines in cars, you can put as much detail as you want in there. You know, you can put leads and things on. Uh, some of the exhaust manifolds and things like that. They're going to have seam lines on them, which you know, obviously you have to clean up. We can see the seam line right over the top of these manifolds. They have to be taken care of. But you know, it, it's not bad. It's a good starting point if you want to have the, the hood open and show the uh, the engine. And our last pro here, guys, we've got our, our tyres on here with the rims. Um, obviously done in a couple of separate pieces, so you have to put them together. Um, you know, and go around, take the seam out where you join them together, sort of thing. And then the white walls, you can probably put those on later. Uh, got our suspension works here, brake disc. Um, even the brake disc got some nice little detail built in up here as well. Um, got our diff, our back diff cover, our chassis. The chassis's got some nice little bolt heads and things like that built into it. So yes, it's it's quite a nice looking little kit, guys. Um, looking at the the back seat here and these other seats up here they've got that nice pattern sort of built into it so again if you you know do semi matte semi gloss and matte covers on those they're going to look like nice little leather seats so it should build up okay it's going to be interesting to see what sort of fit this thing has been a little airy you know you have hits and misses and things like that but it doesn't look too bad as far as an inbox review goes guys i probably won't be building this in the near future it'll be within the next 12 months <clears throat> but not within the next few months so um, when I do the build up, obviously I'll make a video and we'll go through step by step and you know, I'll point out the good and bad parts of the kit. But anyway guys, that's the end of this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.